Hi everybody, it's Andrea over at SoSpire.com. Today I'm here to show you how to attach a drawstring gusset to the top of the um, front panel and the side panels of the bag that we are working on. The purpose of the gusset is twofold. One, to draw in the top portion of that bag so that it's not um, overwhelming when you're wearing it on your body because this is a very big bag. And the second purpose is to true up that front panel so it is the same measurement as our back panel, which is a little bit larger at this point. So for this, you're going to need to cut out two pieces of quilt weight cotton, which measures 16 and a half inches wide by 9 inches tall. Take one of the short sides of that cotton and fold it over approximately 3 quarters of an inch and then stitch that down at the machine. So you're going to do that with both pieces. And if you wanted, you could fold that over so you had a nice finished edge. It's, it's not really going to matter either way. And that was a 3 eighths of an inch um, seam allowance I was using. So I have both of those um, edges hemmed and now I want to take this panel and position it so that it aligns with the raw edges at the top of our backpack and this finished side piece that we just hemmed is centered. So there'll be just a smidgen of overhang on either side and that is totally fine. And now this is meeting up in the middle. I have that aligned. I want to pin it in place. And then I'm going to head back to the machine and using the 5 8 of an inch seam allowance, stitch all the way across that and secure that gusset to the top. those pins and when I fold that up I should have a nice finished look and now I just want to top stitch across there to tack that down um, very close don't exceed you want it to meet up with this 5 8 of a seam allowance so don't exceed where that batting is so you're going to stitch all the way across there and then come up about one and a half inches, one and three quarters inches. And you could just press with your hand or the ironing board a little guide there for yourself. And you're going to stitch that actual channel where the drawstring will connect. So there'll be a break in between, so back stitch there and then continue along. So first we'll top stitch and then we'll come up a one and a half to one and three quarters inch and create that channel.
So the gusset has been successfully installed. I'm thrilled with how this is looking. So you have a, something that looks like this at this point. And tomorrow we're really going to see this project come together. We're going to create the fabric drawstring that will feed right through this channel here and then um, pull or tie in a bow, we could decide that tomorrow what looks best. It'll be versatile, so you could do either. If for any reason you don't want this to have the drawstring and you're looking for another option, just create one long, solid gusset with no break just to true up that height. And then I would suggest installing snaps on the sides so you can snap those and pinch it in. Um, or you could just omit the snaps entirely and you'll just have a very big boxy backpack. So don't worry, we had a couple people concerned that the only closure would be a drawstring. It will not be. We're going to um, talk more about the flap and the type of closure that will be on that because I want this to be a very versatile, secure bag. So I will be back tomorrow to show you how to make the um, fabric tie to cinch up the drawstring and then we're going to go ahead and finish assembling the exterior. So tomorrow's a big day for us. I'll see you then and until we meet again, please know the creative genius in me salutes the creative genius in you. Have a great day everyone.